hey, hey, y'all. My name is Ebony. I'm the CEO of Ebony's Mobile Notary, the founder of 757 Notary Sisters, the owner-operator of Boss Events, the owner-operator of a lot of other stuff. Let's get into it. Happy Sunday. Today is January 21st, January 21st of 2024, you guys. And I hope that you guys are doing something for your business because Lord knows I am. But we going to get into this and we going to go and talk about a lot. So if you're on my email list, then you know that I did send out an email regarding um, people disputing some charges and using the word fraud. I'm going to tell y'all like this. Yo, y'all got to stop. Like, so I had the final straw was um, the young lady purchased a ticket to my in-person brunch she came to the brunch, but something happened with her car, so she wasn't able to attend the brunch. So she ended up handling the stuff for her car. My brunch was all sales were final, um, no refunds, had that all in all my documents, the whole nine yards. She had bought tickets for her, I guess, and her friend. She went back and she disputed it and said that I was fraud. Fraud is a big word. Like, I know... Maybe you don't understand that, but fraud is a big word to the point to where because I had that Black Friday sale, basically my finances just was looking sketchy to where they put a freeze on my bank account and was like, we're investigating you for possibly selling fraudulent services and the whole nine yards. So my bank accounts have been on lock since this happened. Um, I was like, I'm devastated because first of all, I'm not no fraud person. I'm not no scammer. And just to know that people move like that. So as I talked to more people and more people were reaching out to me, y'all know my, my email list is pretty big. Um, this is a common thing, apparently, like a lot of people, they buy things and I, and again, I could be just living under a rock. They buy these things and they get this product and they just have that evil spirit in them. And I guess they're like, oh, I'm going to dispute and I'm going to say it's fraud so I can make sure I get my money back. I've never disputed anything unless it was something that I did not get. Um, hell, I didn't. I ordered the Infinity Hoop, y'all, and I accidentally sent it to my wrong address and got the picture saying it was delivered. I didn't dispute that. The new neighbor just get it. I did tell, and you know, when they asked me for a review, I was like, unfortunately, I sent it to the wrong address. I never received the item, but I didn't dispute it. I didn't do anything. That's not me. I'm, I guess I'm just not that person. You know, I've bought things and I forgot to go. Hell, I bought the level up um, ticket for, if, you, if you're a notary, you remember the level up thing, bought that and then ended up having weddings and could not attend. I'm not going to dispute that charge, but needless to say, that's what happened. And I learned that it is common. Um, I talked to somebody that was telling me like she sold something that was $3,000 and like 15 people disputed. And I couldn't even imagine. I couldn't imagine. And my thing is, I'm not even mad about you disputing the $30. You can have your $30 back. They froze my accounts. They won't let me move money. When, and I didn't, and the way I found out was, even though the email was coming shortly, but I was using my regular card and it declined and I was buying something for $4. Why would $4 decline? But my accounts have been frozen. My personal accounts and my business accounts. Square has let me go as a merchant. They like, no, we don't want to do business with you, girl. And hopefully everything will be worked out by next week and they'll see that I'm not a scammer. I submitted everything. I submitted screenshots of this young lady saying, I bought my ticket. I'm so happy to be coming. I screenshotted conversations between me and her because I've helped her on the back end when she had questions. I sent in everything. I sent in everything. And I promise you, I'm going to pick up the phone, call her and just rah, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. All right. But four minutes on that. That's enough. That's enough. I learned my lesson and how will I be moving on? You know me, you know me, it's always a lesson. I'm making a new business, y'all. And this time I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Hopefully you guys will tune in weekly as I start this business from start to finish. This will be my first 
passive business where I want YouTube and Etsy and things like that in my website to kind of push it. But um, I'm going to be giving, I'm calling it business RX and I'm prescribing business tips, you know, just something kind of cute and catchy because I am a nurse. And um, every week I'll, you know, I'll give you your prescription for the week. I think it's going to be cute. And again, I'm going to do it from structuring, setting goals, making that budget and whatnot. So we're about to be in week one. I will share a lot that I have done and that I am doing, you know, because I have 757, I am utilizing that platform and just going to turn everything over. Like far as I don't have to make a new Facebook page or a new Instagram business page. I'm just going to turn the ones that I have into that page i did get my logo i did we are going to rename the youtube channel here it won't be 757 notary sisters it'll be the business rx um and i'm not going to be mentoring or anything like that but what i will do is you can get that ebook um i think people had too much access to me for 757 i think i was really trying to build this community and I don't know. The community didn't love me back. I, I mean, a lot of y'all do love me. A lot of y'all do. I'll definitely say that. But baby, when it was bad, it was bad. So it won't be any mentoring. I won't do any events. It'll be basically YouTube channel videos if you want to watch them. I'll fix up the stand store. It might be a couple of courses in there, but nothing with a budget on it. Nothing with, oh, I got to sell or I got to push. You know, I want to make sure I'm helping everybody. Nope, you got to help yourself. I'm doing it out of fun. Um, I like writing the ebooks. I know that the information that when I research and I do these things that is solid and that if you happen to come across me, you'll be able to get some of that stuff too. So one of the next things that I'll put out will be a template of the business plan that I use to structure this business and how I came up with my budget. Where did I get my logo from, my domain, my hosting? We're going to just take, it won't be 757notarysisters.com. It'll be the business rx website i'm building the website and things like that and you'll be able to get a digital product if i sell it through etsy etsy has a no refund policy and if you dispute with them you're disputing with etsy and not me does that make sense so a lot of things that i just had to research and learn i would really love to help everybody i love helping people i love mentoring to be honest i am going to definitely miss it but I can't, I can't, it would have to be, I, I now understand like when I remember I would click people's links, they'd be like a one-on-one -on -one call and the one-on-one -on -one call would be $195. I back right the hell out. But now I get it. Now I get it. Like if I do mentor, it, it's going to have a ticket price like that. It's going to have a high ticket price like that. So like, I know that my client is serious. I know that this person really is for real and they really, really want help. And I hate to have to put a dollar to it. But if you guys are disputing $7.57 or $11.89 now, and I, I don't, I don't want to, gosh, I don't want to sound like a jerk. I don't want to deal with those kind of people. I want to deal with some people that's ready to learn, ready to do business, ready to grow in business, because I have showed y'all, man, I have showed y'all, I've built several businesses and made money. I always have to put in the grind work though, right? And that's what I keep doing is just grinding. This weekend, like I say, today is the 21st. Yesterday, I had three weddings two photo booth rentals can y'all add that up well over two grand in one day and doing something easy doing things that i love and all i want to do is show you all i want to do is help others all i want to do is that and i keep getting burned so i'm gonna keep doing what i love to do and if you if you catch it, you catch it. Because that ebook for wedding officiant is there. That photo booth ebook and that course is there. It's, it's there. You get it if you get it. I don't care. I can't care anymore because no one 
cared about, you know, those people that did do those disputes and said that I was fraud and said that I was a scammer. You know what I'm saying? You hurt my reputation. You hurt my feelings. You hurt my reputation. You hurt my business, right? But I'm steady doing everything that I said I was going to do, which is I am a mobile notary. I'm a successful mobile notary. Um, I did do the mentoring and whatnot. So I was very successful in that. I am a wedding officiant. I'm very successful in that. I do rent out photo booths. I'm very successful in that. So everything that I've said that I was going to do and everything that I want to help others do, I'm not just the kind of person that's just talking it. I'm walking it and I'm showing you, hey, when times got tough, hey, maybe I need to go back to work. And y'all know I'm loving this oncology nurse thing, man. Um, I do. I really, really love it. I'm still getting kind of used to it. The patients, I guess they like me. I like them. It's so, it's so different. I wish that I can't wait to meet like more outpatient oncology nursing nurses. Oh, my CPR business took off with no explanation, all of those things. But needless to say, in the nursing field, um, I can't wait to talk to more people that do outpatient nursing. I just got to make sure that that's what it is. I, I do love it. I do love it. I'm not going anywhere. I don't see myself leaving unless they fire me, in which everyone says that I'm doing an amazing job, that I catch on quickly. I'm, I am still struggling with starting. They start IVs from the hand and then in the arm, they try to stay away from the AC. And that's where I know how to get the AC baby. That's me all day. So I am learning, you know, a lot of the older people, they have such fragile skin and I'm like, oh, and then sometimes I have a hard time at the arm. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'm successful. I've probably been successful about four times. I've probably made about 10 attempts. And everybody's skin is different. And they, like they told me, they was like, it's not, you know, we all were here when we started, you know, and a lot of people have been there for years and years. And I only hope that I can have that same story that I can say I've been here for the last 15 years. Um, a lot of people are looking to, re you know, retire. They're like, oh, I want financial freedom. I want to retire. No, I don't. I'm not looking for retirement. I'm always looking for something to do because I love being busy. Um, if I was retired, what would I do? I'm still, you know, I ain't old enough to draw off my Social Security. And I, everybody's like, oh, you can travel. I got a job that will pay me. You know, I got PTO. I can always take off. And again, being a wedding officiant and having these photo booths, it's like I go to a party every weekend. So... I be getting it. I be getting it. Um, I think my next wedding is the 29th and then February the 2nd. So this week I am going to be working on Business Rx. So if you want to ride this ride with me, you need to come up with your business name, whatever business you want, and write on a piece of paper what your goals are. This week, I need to finish my business plan, my budget. I'm gonna make sure that I'm settled on my colors, my logo, my domain, my hosting. I'm gonna start removing all the things that's on those other platforms and start turning them over to the newer platforms. And I'm hoping to be done with that by Saturday so that I, I can be live and launching things. So that I, when I come back with another video, I can share my screen and I can show you some of the things that I did. Um, if any influencers are watching this, someone did mention to me to make like a membership channel, maybe on YouTube. Maybe I could consider that if I could get maybe some, you know, just more information or anything like that. Um, you guys can leave a comment below on what you would like to see. But if you are looking to start your business and you like, I really need help from beginning to end every week, I'm going to be here showing you exactly what we're doing. I'm going to share with you when I get my first sale. And again, it's going to be digital products that is probably going to be on Etsy because Etsy has a big no refund policy. And if you, um, do dispute you're disputing with etsy and not with me so which will help me in the long run um i if i do do the one-on-one -on -one calls I, it's going to be they're going to cost um like at least 
$175 at least. And I really hate to do it, but I think the person, my ideal potential client, because you want to always talk to your target audience, would be willing to pay that because they know the value that I hold and they know that everything that I will be able to bring to the table and be able to give to them versus somebody that is, you know, still on the fence about the $7.57 and then you go and dispute that you're not my, my ideal client. Um, I want to help people that are ready to make really, really big moves. Again, you can always watch these YouTube videos because I'm very transparent. But if you needed someone to hold your hand and maybe meet with you weekly, I got you. But it's just going to be for a price. So, all right, y'all, let me get to doing my Sunday routine. You know it's time to put content out there. I got to clean up. I got to get my uniforms together for the week because... It's another work week, and I got to get those photo booths out my car. Yo, my car is so full. And y'all have a good one. Comment, like, subscribe, and be prepared. I think by next week, I should have this YouTube channel will no longer be 757 Notary Sisters. You'll start to see Business Rx. Bye.